I was young, my mother told me, when you have a potential wife, look at her teeth. According to her teeth, you'll know her inner characteristics. <laughs> She's never been to a dentist. <laughs> And just to prove my sincerity, I want to sing a song for my new wife. While I give to you, and you give to me, true love, true love, <laughs> for on and on it will always be true love. True love. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today to enter Abraham and his wife Edna, future wife, future wife Edna, into the bonds of holy matrimony. This is an occasion that happens once in a lifetime. I thank God, due to the. Uh, <laughs> Thank God, due to the, the progress we've made in modern day society, such a glorious wedding can take place. It could have been even two or three years ago, and it still is in certain parts of the world, that this love would not be recognized. That these two beautiful people, creatures, I don't know, would, wouldn't, be, wouldn't be able to, to get married and express their love for each other. So now we're about to take the vows. Abraham, do you take this lovely, I don't know, what is it? Is it a donkey? A woman? Man. A, woman. A, woman. a woman! A woman! I want a man! <laughs> I want a man! I don't want a woman! <laughs> don't be embarrassed. Well, tomorrow you can marry someone else. Maybe just for today, well, it's already everyone's here. We have a party. You can at least you can marry her today, and if it doesn't work out, you can whatever. He's, We're flexible today. He's a very open relationship. He's a brilliant priest. I wish we'd make him the pope. Maybe you can make me the, 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 the chief. I don't know. That's a good what salary. I can buy a new hat. <laughs> a collar that actually stays on. Okay, so do you, Abraham, take this lovely creation of God, Edna, to be your loving wife? I do! And to you, Edna, take this man, Avraham, are you listening? <laughs> to be your husband, with all that entails, I do! <laughs> you may now kiss the bride. It was very difficult for me to play this part. Half hour ago, I was looking for someone to do the part, to stand in my place, but no one was willing to. So, in, in conclusion, I look upon these people that will be pr pr parading tomorrow, I have pity upon them. But because of their arrogance and, and showing themselves so blatantly to innocent people, children, innocent adults as well, they're actually spreading their illness. They are ill. And I think they're ill because society, Western society is ill. But letting this phenomenon be observed in public in a holy place can cause terrible damage to the world. So I took courage in standing here in front of the camera and I, <clears throat> I was in tears and laughter really, but it's a very serious affair. It's a very serious problem that Western society has given us all this technology, all this easy life, and this terrible lack of clearness between the sexes. People don't want children. This is at the root. This is, this, this is the epitome of egoism. Why do you think that by marrying a donkey today it, it will help uh, prevent uh, tomorrow's, tomorrow's 
gay parade or um, <coughs> what was from, the purpose of this? I learned from Eliyahu, Elijah in English, the prophet, when he gathered together a few hundred of the priests of, uh, of the Baal, of idol worship, uh, he actually made fun of them. He made a joke in Hebrew, I don't know what the words are in English. He made a joke of them. And so I'm making a joke. I, it's, it's, only, it's like being lightheaded in the face of a very serious problem. But perhaps being lightheaded, I can draw the, the innocent public in trying to analyze and understand and protect young people from contact with this contagious illness. Can hear also.